a new day dawns and uh, we're back outside. It's reasonable, nice weather today. So I'm pulling in the uh, cabling through the underground tube uh, before I'm closing up this uh, uh, cable ditch. So we have a tube exposed there in case something goes wrong. And uh, I've got all my wires uh, rolled out and ready to go. So we have positive and negative solar wire. I'm probably going to run another string of these uh, afterwards. And we've got my uh, fat uh, 230 volt uh, uh, cable going to uh, supply the barn. Also nicely rolled out. Uh, and I've just put together a horrible tapey bit here on the end. And... Uh, I'm feeding everything through. The uh, blue string is just a pull string. Uh, I'm pulling a new string along so we can just pull it back and go back and forth and uh, leave a string of the tube in the future in case we need to run something else because we do have uh, quite a bit of space left in here. So right now I'm just uh, kind of shoving this in there as far as it'll go and uh, once it won't go anymore I'll just... Grr, I can't do it one-handed. Uh, once it's uh, stops going, I'll just go the other end and uh, pull a bit maybe, get some help if necessary. So the uh, solar wire is uh, some Italian uh, 6 square mil. What's it say? Top cable for top solar. Top solar, apparently. Nice red and black. And you could not believe the mess I got this string in. Last night it was one of those stupid drawers, string sets, which uh, did not come with a core, so it just turned into chaos, and uh, I spent about an hour sorting through that today. But that could have gone worse, so now I'm just going to feed everything through, hopefully without getting stuck. Poof, there we have it. All our wires have been pulled all the way through my underground tube and it's gone far better than I dared imagine I just to duct tape everything to a pull cord and uh, through it went it was an amazing experience I was expecting this to be something I'd have to abort in the middle of the evening and start over tomorrow but it could not have gone better so uh, we have two sets of solar panel well that one that one well two sets of solar panel wires I cut them in a pairs so we have the ground pair and the red pair there yeah, so I'm probably gonna end up moving the small solar system to right around there uh, just to make it a bit more optimal so it doesn't get shaded by the haze as it does now and uh, in the future I might add another proper big string or a wind generator or what have you, whatever you can use uh, two fat six square mil uh, cables for uh, so the pull cord, I'm, I'll just cord that up on a piece, couple of pieces of uh, uh, tubing and I'm just going to bury that by the end of the tube so we can access it in the future and pull more stuff through if necessary these electrical pipes ducts are rather big so I can fit a lot more stuff through there, if needed. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but, you know, might as well. So, we're pretty much done here for tonight. i am just got a work call, so someone's going to show up in a few minutes. <sighs> we're on to doing something else, but uh, tomorrow I can probably get to start to bury this stuff. i got some tools to bend the aluminium pipe that's going to go up to the uh, breaker boxes uh, on the wall and uh, up along the uh, wall on the other house so we can get uh, the pipes bent they have to kind of end by the tube and go preferably go a bit inside it as well <sighs> but that's tomorrow's problem another day another windy cold wet day is here uh, but work continues uh, so I've put some aluminium pipes on the uh, cables coming out uh, at the barn end as well and uh, uh, I've gotten, come so far as to uh, begin uh, burial works uh, so uh, you can see I found a bunch of old bricks buried 
here when I dug up the earth, so I'm putting those to uh, just kind of cover up uh, the uh, pipe, since it's very shallow here due to the big, big boulders uh, underneath the ground, so we will need to uh, take extra care to protect uh, the tube uh, and grounding uh, lead uh, in this particular area, since it's just it's barely 20 centimeters down. If someone were to stick something sharp, you know, like that, uh, down into the ground, it uh, could spell disaster. Uh, so I'm going to cover it up. Uh, I've working with these pipes and the tubes is really difficult, but I've uh, it's just mechanically finicky. Uh, but I've got them. So so we're going to put take the main swirl for the barn on this side. The solar cables are going to go on the right side, and then the a grinding cable is going to come up uh, next to that in its little copper pipe, so they're all going to be three in a row on that board there, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So now I'm going to spend as much of a day as I can uh, burying wire all the way down. It's a lovely day to be outside, nice and sunny, and reasonably warm about Tennessee, and uh, I've been hard at work covering up the trench, so if we look really closely we can see that we've, we're starting to get a bit of rock coverage going. I've been wheelbarrowing loads and loads of these guys in here and we have a pretty good coverage, uh, almost all the way now. Uh, so these rocks are here just uh, because for, uh, I've, uh, the... Uh, uh, Conduit is uh, kind of shallow, it's at basically the minimum legal depth, and this earth is uh, soft and malleable. So, if we uh, have rocks on top, it's just gonna ensure that no one goes and stabs my channel. Uh, I want this to last, you know, as long as the barns are gonna last at least. And the barns have been standing for 70 years and it's ready to stand another 70, and as will the solar panels. So, it's all going nicely. I am very grateful that I have my giant pile of rocks over here that I've been slowly excavating. Found an ant pile in the middle of it and we don't really get along, but oh well, such is life. <sighs> I'm kind of saving some of the bigger, nicer, sharper rocks because I want to uh, make like a little rock wall down there underneath the uh, charging uh, thingy for, for, for the car uh, because the like uh, the covering on the edge of that wall is uh, completely falling apart but I have access to tons more really nice rocks and I figured I might as well make a bit of a stone wall uh, instead of just covering it up with uh, some uh, ugly grey goop again I'll just seal it up and put rocks in front it's gonna look Amazing in a few years when I actually get around to it. Last night I also I kind of started painting this side of a barn. It's uh, pretty nice, uh, but it uh, started raining last night, so I didn't get very far. But uh, yeah, very cheap, basic red color. It's looking pretty good. I mean, you can quite clearly see where the old probably could be original paint here. Uh, is falling off because this southern side has gotten so fried by the sun over the years. You know, some of the nails are starting to come out, so I'm gonna paint those in place sooner or later. I did get a, a fair bit of, of this side of a wall painted as well, uh, just where the electrical installation is gonna go, uh, just because it's annoying to access painting uh, once you have the tubes uh, bolted down and stuff. So, ah, <sighs> things are moving along. Beautiful day. Couldn't ask for a better day to be out. The day is coming to a close, the sun's setting, and we can look back at our work. So, I've just about gotten about a third of a way with the covering up of a trench, and it's gone absolutely swimmingly. Uh, we've got all the rocks in place, and I've started just to Shoveling the dirt and my uh, lawn back in place. So uh, uh, this is going to be 
pretty good uh, once uh, it has a uh, has some time to uh, kind of grow the grass back. Uh, when I took when a dog would try and shy, uh, made sure to kind of save the tufts of grass. So uh, 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 we have little grass modules, lawn modules that I just uh, put back on top of everything once I got the dirt put back and compacted. Uh, so uh, it's going to turn out pretty well. This lawn does not seem to have cared at all about getting pulled up. It's uh, been growing as well as ever. In fact, this part really needs some mowing. <sighs> so I just uh, did it in two, two goes. First I just uh, kind of raked the uh, raked and shoveled the dirt in, then I compacted it with a sledgehammer, all manual labour, it's uh, quite a workout, and uh, when I put the top layer on top, except for right where we're standing right now, where it's just uh, dirt, because I keep driving the van over here, the grass doesn't even stand a chance. So this final bit I'm leaving uncovered until I have all the wiring done here, I need to uh, tape the wires here where I'm where there. Exposed, I'm just going to take some fat electrical tape, put, pull them out a bit, tape it, pull them out a bit, tape it, so that it's really nice and protected here. The same for this one, even though it doesn't really need it. If this wire is really super hardcore, it shouldn't be an issue leaving it like that, but, you know, better have just a bit of extra protection. Better safe than someone accidentally chopping it, or it getting worn out with the sun because it doesn't keep its promises, etc. So this pit is just going to stay open just a little tad longer. So as you might be able to tell to uh, flatten everything out, I just ran it over with a van a few times. It's like 1.6 tons uh, unladen, so probably 1.8 tons of all the crap I got in it. And it's, it didn't sink down through the ground, so I'm, I'm going to wager. I've done a good enough job compacting it with a sledgehammer. <sighs> it's just been such a nice day out today. Beautiful weather, it's nine in the evening and it's not even cold enough to kill me yet. So once I've got all this stuff uh, covered up, uh, I think I'm probably gonna do this end as well. Well, of course I'm gonna do this end. Uh, it's uh, Saturday today, and next week I should get my uh, fancy, super expensive solar isolation switch and uh, uh, over voltage uh, protection box that's uh, gonna go somewhere on this wall. Uh, I put together a custom S-Bend for that, which I don't have enough attachment to install, but uh, lots of brute force of a bending spring. Has lent me this mostly straight pipe. So this should mount like so on the wall. And it's going to go uh, to extend over the solar wiring pipe, pop like so, and then up on the wall. And it's going to be something like that. And then it's going to go into the expensive solar over voltage isolation switch box which is going apparently going to be right there because that's where our wiring will end up so that's all in the works i'm gonna uh, the fancy expensive box is uh, a modern thing made out of plastic it's rated for an infinite number of years of outside service and it's probably bullshit and it's gonna turn to dust in five years so I'm probably gonna end up putting a bit of a metal shroud over it. Uh, safe is that way uh, so it's gonna be getting hit on this side quite harshly by the sun and um, that's the same sun that's uh, done this to this barnyard wall so yeah probably not good on a cheapo plastic box that I'm paying too much money for. Uh, yeah no problem I, I can make do with that. Uh, and when I have time, I'm going to just run the black 230 volt cable uh, pretty much straight up uh, underneath that to save some of the sunlight. Zoop, and to the hole, which is uh, a bit. Oh, yeah, it's there. 
Uh, you can see the red cable there by the light. Uh, that's the actual input. So I'm going to run the entire uh, run all the way into the connection box inside the barn. So none of this external stuff is going to be there anymore, which is going to be super nice. It's been warm today, so my amazing <laughs> air cable has been hanging lower than usual. It's cooled down now, so uh, I can just just about reach it if I really want to. I don't want to. Should be dead, but uh, some of these weird... Hey, maybe I can actually even zoom in on the rusted wire there for you. Let's see. There you go. Another beautiful overexposed glory. You can see <laughs> the rusted wire uh, that holds the anger in. So yeah, this thing's so overdue to go. And it's finally going to go. <sighs> it's, it's just so nice and satisfying to do this kind of work all by hand and seeing it come together. So, late last night, I started doing a bit more work inside after it got dark. I uh, tied the uh, two DC wires up in two different uh, properly marked strings. So we have string red and string white. Uh, so I think white is going to be my 150 volt system for the time being. Uh, red is going to be uh, the big system. And I've been pretty decent with the amount of wire uh, I left coming out of a pipe, again rather 5 meters too many than 5 centimeters too few and so I can actually run a uh, system white here straight into the DC breaker box uh, replacing the white uh, cable. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep system red with a bit of slack in the lead, I'm just gonna uh, tie it up to that corner there, let's just say coiled up just to, in case something happens if, if we Faff up the here MC4, so I have to move this inverter because some issue in the future God knows it's it's nice to have a couple of extra meters of wire in any case and I've already paid for it Might as well leave it there uh, Also, uh, I was going to run the uh, Ground conductor there straight to the electrical central. That's uh, gonna be mounted uh, on this wall, like near here somewhere, uh, but uh, I should have enough, I think, uh, of the 16 square mil copper ground conductor to actually run this uh, upstairs if I use uh, the string coming straight from each side. So I've been tying that to well, placing it up on the uh, wiring ladder, ladders there, and I'm just gonna extend that up uh, with. Uh, the extra bit from the other end, so this is going to get tied to another string that's going to go keep on going up with all the other wiring through the ceiling over there. And uh, I'll just uh, do a splice, well, I'll just uh, tie another a bit of fat conductor here and pull that down there and up to the central that's going to come there. That's just optimizing material because else like running this straight to this central and then splicing it to go there just feels it feels like an inferior solution since this is much shorter run and we have a lot you know quite a few meters of that stuff uh, and of course I did get this piece of uh, wiring uh, ladder mounted uh, there's been so many wires uh, pulled here, I didn't have to drill any new holes, I just put some plastic inserts in the old holes and uh, this thing is uh, sturdily on there and uh, yeah, if I keep working tonight I'm going to start mounting the uh, ceiling uh, ladder that's going to go all the way there and uh, once that's done we can start doing the inside wiring while well, I got to uh, put the central up of course and this Ah, the work, the work just never stops, but that way, that's why we're here. <laughs> 